In this clip, we are going to look at the many different ways of how to install an extension in Joomla 4. Let us start by logging into the website. On the home dashboard screen, we need to go to the system menu. And on this page, we have a box with three options in it. We've got install extensions, install discover, and install languages. Let's have a quick look at the install extensions page. On here, we've got four options of upload package, install from folder, install from URL, and install from web. We'll come back to this page in a minute. The next one is install discover. This one is particularly useful to developers who upload files directly to the website and then ask Joomla to discover these files to install the extensions. And the third one is install languages. On this page, we can install new languages onto the website. And we can see there's a version column here that will give us information of the version for that language as compared to the Joomla website. Another way to get to the install screens is the manage box in the center of the screen where we have manage extensions. And then at the top of the page, we have an option for install extensions, which takes us back to the original page. We have manage languages and we have manage content languages both of which have this install languages button at the top that when clicked takes us back to the install languages page. We can also restrict what options administrators have to install extensions in the back end. If we go to plugins under manage and then under filter options select type installer, we can see here that we've got installers with similar names to what we saw in the install extensions page. So for example, the install from upload, this plugin allows you to install extensions from your local computer. The install from folder allows you to install extensions from a folder on the web server. Install from URL allows you to install extensions from a URL. And install from web allows you to install directly from the Joomla extension directory. If we go back to the system and install extensions, we can now see how those plugins relate to the tab names at the top of the install extension page. One of the main ways that people install extensions on Joomla is to download package files from extension creators and then upload them directly into their Joomla installation. One thing to make note of here is this maximum upload size. On a lot of servers, this upload size will be a lot smaller than this, and you must be careful that your extension file is not larger than your maximum upload size allowable. The next option is install from folder. And as you can see here, this is the full path name to your folder. By default, it will use the TMP or temporary directory within Joomla. And next we have the install from URL. So if your extension creator has given you a URL link to install your file from, this is where you'd enter that. And finally, install from web. So this will actually load up a list from the Joomla extension directory and allow you to select the individual extension that you want. If you know the extension that you are looking for, you can search for it directly here. Otherwise you can use the other various options on the page to narrow down your search results. We have categories here on the left, and then on the right here, we have the ability to sort. And the default one is the Joomla extension directory default sorting. So let's have a look at the first extension that has come up on this install from web. When we click on the icon for it, it takes us to more details of that extension. And we have the option to install it. We can go and view it on the Joomla extension directory, or we can go directly to the developer website. So as you can see, there are different ways to install extensions onto Joomla. All of them are relatively easy and straightforward, and you can choose whichever one is going to work best for you.